What's up you guys, uh, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I do have some CBI skid plates right here laid out. They're gonna be the full skids all the way from the front to the back. So what we have right here is gonna be the front skid, it's gonna be the transfer skid, and then of course the gas tank skid. Cool thing about this, as you guys can tell, it's all nice and colored, so that's gonna be awesome for those Instagram photos. So let's go ahead and now get into the video and we'll show you guys how to install it. Let's do it. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and now start with the removal process of the front skid plate. So this can apply to your vehicle as well. As far as for me, I do have a Beast Fab skid plate, so it may differ from yours. Uh, but for the front ones, I can guarantee you guys it's gonna be the same bolts, which is gonna be a size 17 millimeter socket. There's gonna be one bolt here, which I'll show you right now, and one bolt on this side. There's also gonna be two more in the back over here. Uh, mine are a size 13 millimeter, but your rear ones may be different on yours. So let's go ahead and now get to the removal process so we can finally install the brand new skids. All right, you guys, so let me show you really quick what bolts I was talking about. So this one here, and then looking right over here, that's also gonna be a size 17 millimeter bolt. So let's go ahead and remove those to start. And you wanna make sure to save these bolts because we are gonna be reusing them. Once you remove those two, if you guys do have a buddy or something like that, if yours is kind of heavy, I'd probably recommend getting them just so that way he holds it up while you do the rears. So for the rear, like I said, for me, it's going to be a size 13 millimeter socket. On the rear ones, yours might differ. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys where those are. Now that we've installed the front skid, we're now gonna be moving on to the support brace. So with that one, what you wanna go ahead and do is get a size 12 millimeter socket. We're gonna to need to remove uh, these factory braces, which are right here. There's one there. There's gonna be one, two, and one, two. So a total of four bolts on this. And then looking on the opposite side, it's gonna be the same thing. One, two, one, two. So size 12 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove those eight bolts. Let's do it. So now we're gonna be installing the support brace. As you guys can tell, this is way better quality than what was installed. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to take off one of the brake lines. So if you look there on the driver's side, um, here were the support braces that you removed, but looking right there is the brake line. There's gonna be a little size 12 millimeter bolt right there. That's what you're gonna to need to remove. Once you take that bolt off, so there's a little hook on it, as you guys can tell. You wanna get it out of the way because the CBI skid is gonna go in between there like a sandwich. So two things, you can need to uh, cut off that pin or just bend it out of the way, which is probably what we're gonna do. And then looking on the opposite side, right about here, you're gonna notice there's like two little black tapes there. Uh, you wanna go ahead and remove those because that's where the other bolt is gonna go. So now that we've done that, up next, uh, go ahead and still use your 12 millimeter uh, socket. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, of course, like I had said, remove the sticker. You just need to remove the top sticker. You don't need to remove the bottom one. So you want the bigger one. So up next, you get your 12 millimeter socket and you remove this bolt here. <laughs> oh man. Nothing hard about it. Nothing hard about it. It's getting fatter. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is Steve on one side is gonna grab the brace and I'm gonna grab the brace on the other side and we're gonna bring it up. So we'll show you guys that process. One thing we did wanna mention though, on that side, if you guys do remember when we took the brake line out, you wanna go ahead and reuse that same bolt that you took out from there. So now for this side, um, we're gonna be using that top hole like I had said. So for the support brace, another thing I did wanna let you guys know, inside the baggie, you are gonna have uh, some bolts. So you wanna go ahead and grab one of the bolt that applies with it. And that bag, there should be four washers as well. So we're gonna go ahead and grab two of them for now. And then another thing in that bag, there's also gonna be nine of these nuts. So one thing to take note on is one of the nuts is actually slightly smaller than the rest of them. So that's what we're gonna be using. Like I said, that's gonna be for the support brace. Let's get back to it. We're gonna put the bolt from here and the nut on the inside. So let's go ahead and uh, start that process. We'll start with Steve's side. Up next, we're gonna be doing the transfer skid plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of what hardware we're gonna use and how the orientation is gonna be of this. So looking at the skid plate here, you're gonna notice uh, this is gonna be the front 
towards the front of the truck. So that back there is going to be for the back of the truck. Of course, we do need to flip it on its backside and then we'll go ahead and install it. As far as the hardware, let me show you guys. So you're going to have a couple nuts, uh, smaller bolts here, longer bolts, and some plates. So these plates are going to go with these longer bolts. So there's going to be two of these that are going to go right here. And then there's going to be the other two that are going to go in the center there in those holes. And then these other four are going to go way in the back over there, which you guys will see right now once we get to the install. And then all of these are going to take the nuts. So let's get started on that process. So check it out, you guys. We have Steve doing the worm down here. <laughs> so pretty much what I did for the transfer case is I fed it to him from the front of the truck. And then he's just kind of sliding in with it. Since we don't have a lift or anything like that, and I can't remember where I left my Pro Eagle Jack to lift up the truck, uh, we have to kind of compromise and sadly work on our backs, which I know he hates because he is an actual tech so i know he hates this world now yeah he's pissed <laughs> <laughs> once you have it in place uh what we're going to be doing is we're going to let steve rest a little because this is heavy <laughs> all you have to do is uh, basically line up these holes with the holes that are there cool thing about this is when you are installing either the transfer skid or the front skid it doesn't matter which order you do it because they don't overlap they actually touch each other kind of like a puzzle so you can do either or in either orientation i forgot to mention like steve said you do have to put this one in first before you actually put this one the reason why is because the back one does overlap as you guys can tell it's going to sit like that the hardware we're going to be using go ahead and grab uh, four of these smaller carriage bolts and four of these nuts those are going to be right up here where steve's kind of holding it you're going to notice uh, there's two holes here which we're going to line up with the top of brace we're going to do the same thing on that opposite side so the bolts are going to be coming from this side upwards and then from the inside of here we'll go ahead and put the nut onto that bolt so let's do that right now and we're just going to hand tighten for now as you can tell my hand is there and now i'm going to go ahead and do the uh, next one which is right here it's going to be the same step so i'm going to have him put it in i'll go ahead and feed my hand through the bottom and put that nut in i'm going to go ahead and go on the other side and we're going to do the same steps all right so now that you have those four in we're going to start working with the center and the fronts with those you want to grab those larger bolts and nuts all right you guys so as you can tell uh right here is all the hardware that we're going to be using for uh the rest of it so you're going to have four of these plates like i told you guys earlier you're going to have four nuts and four of these long carriage bolts uh to start off we're going to go ahead and grab two of the long carriage bolts and what steve's going to do is as you guys can tell it's going to set it right in there and then up next it's going to be one of the big plates that's right there and then once you put the top plate which i'll show you guys how it looks from the top side right now you want to go ahead and grab one of the nuts and let me show you guys from the top side so i'm going to show you guys what he did on this side now so he's going to put the big carriage bolt it's going to go in through there and that's going to be a little hard to see but you can see it sticking out then you put the top plate just like that. It's pretty much a washer, uh, but just a super thick one. And then after that, you wanna go ahead and get the supplied nut that I told you guys to get and go ahead and hand tie it in for now. So now that both sides are hand tied in, as you can tell, there's that one, there's the other one. One thing I wanted to show you guys is, like I told you, um, these do not overlap. They're gonna be, uh, you know, kind of like a puzzle. Uh, one thing you guys are gonna notice on mine is they're not tightened all the way yet, so this is actually gonna sit a little more higher up. And notice, right here kind of in the center, there's gonna be that there. And then over there by Steve's head, there'll be one more there. And you're gonna do the same thing. Grab the big carriage bolt, just like that. And you'll grab the plate, which will go on the top side. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. I, I, I just blurt out stupid shit now and then just to make Jesse's videos entertaining. He's very entertaining, you guys. Nah, not really. <laughs> very. I'm just, you know, dumb one and dumb two combined. Yeah, so that makes it interesting. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, installed. Eyeballs. Uh, and you do got to wear glasses, you guys. He said he doesn't want to wear safety glasses because he's a man. But now look at him crying. <laughs> Both my safety glasses. <laughs> When needed, when, when there's when there's danger of blowing up in my face, I do it. You know what? When, when I don't wear safety glasses, when when there's a risk of a car falling on me, because safety glasses ain't gonna do shit. That is, yeah, that is very true. Now that we have everything kind of in line, as you can tell, there's four bolts here. There's one bolt there one bolt next to Steve's hand, and then the other two that are there. Now we can go ahead and tighten 
pretty much everything down. So it's gonna be super simple, and then after that, we'll move on to the skid plate. Uh, one thing I did wanna tell you guys, I do have a skid plate right now, but I'm gonna be switching it out uh, for the same color as this one. As you can tell, the CBI skid that I have right now is in black, but we're gonna be switching it out so it can match with these bad boys here. What do you think about that? I think I want the black one. It'll fit my rub, right? No. I just to tighten these back ones here, and then of course the rest of them that are on this transfer skid are gonna be a size 14. And then we'll also tighten down that front skid as well, and then we'll go from there. Check it out, it's all installed. It looks really good overall, and like I said, it's gonna add a lot of protection. So it is cold, so I got Steve right here wearing the towel as a blanket. But check it out, you guys. Uh, so we've taken off the old CBI skid that I had on there. We're gonna now install the brand new one. One thing I did wanna mention, on the actual gas tank itself, uh, there's gonna be two nuts on this side and two nuts back there, which are gonna be a size, <laughs> they're gonna be a size a 12 millimeter socket. Uh, reason I wanna tell you guys on this is because those, you're gonna need to reuse them. So when you take those off, make sure to save them. So checking it out right here, uh, this plate here is where you're gonna be reusing those four Four nuts that we took off one's gonna go there 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 and there that's gonna be towards the gas tank so now for the new hardware here uh, you're gonna notice this is gonna be the front lip which we'll show you guys right now on a time-lapse uh, but I just want to show you guys the hardware uh, so these two uh, carriage bolts that are the smaller ones and then these two nuts here those are gonna be right here on the back side of this plate here and then for the two front up right there uh, you're gonna have uh, two of these bigger bolts and then you'll put a washer a washer it'll go in through the frame and then on the top of the frame you'll put these two plates and then you'll tie it down with those nuts so let's get to that now first things first put these little squares in oh what the fuck is that it's fine do we have sound yeah now i'm questioning it me too CBI for the win, right? Cool Batos Ingenieros. Whatever that Ingenieros means. Ingenieros is with an I, right? Yeah, uh, no, I don't know. Uh. So like I told you guys, we went from the black skid from CBI to this brand new gray one. As you guys can tell, looks freaking awesome. Has the name there and it goes all the way through. So now everything is installed. Everything looks freaking awesome. And I'm excited to show you guys this. When I do go off road, I'm gonna test them out of course and see how strong they really are. But I can guarantee you, if it's like their bumpers, it's gonna be strong. It's straight steel. I didn't get aluminum for that reason. Now that we finished up with the installation, like I had told you guys, it looks freaking awesome and I'm super excited because I have pretty much almost everything CBI equipped now. So if you guys do want to go ahead and purchase any of these skid plates because you can buy them separately as well, go ahead and check out the description box below. I've linked it there. So don't forget to follow uh, Steve at Raventure on his Instagram. Let's go ahead and get him to a thousand followers finally. If you guys did like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Feel free to subscribe